All right, so I got these heads right here. They're 98 Vortec heads that um, I got some years ago. I put a motor in a 99 Suburban. It had a spun bearing in it, and um, the guy I did the job for asked, it, was I interested in the core motor because I put a crate motor in there. And uh, so I ended up getting the whole motor for 100 bucks. These heads are probably some of the best flowing factory heads. They have a, a beautiful heart-shaped combustion chamber that's just amazing. But the weak part of these heads, the valve guide bosses right here are so big that if you put a performance spring with a high lift cam, the spring will, will um, cut the retainer on this bottom part of the seal housing right here so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this part of the seal boss down and we're going to pull all the studs out cut these stud bosses down and put screw in studs and guide plates on so what i got to pull these studs out and you can use just a bunch of rocker balls but i got this tool from summit it's a sum 300 136 sum 300 136 one side of it is for pulling the stud and the other side you stick on there and it makes sure that you thread the th tap the threads into the stud ball straight so you keep everything in the correct geometry but we're going to show you how to use this tool right quick on the stud pulling part so you take a rocker uh nut and you run it down You run it down and then you'll pull the nut back off and you'll put uh, rocker balls on there to space it so you don't run out of threads. And I don't know if my impact, I didn't, I hadn't charged it in a while. So that's why it keeps on cutting off and I don't know if it's going to have enough charge to do this job, but we're going to try. But you'll keep on doing that and it'll just pull the stud right out the head but I'm gonna have to charge this impact up because it just don't have enough of juice but you need to make sure that you don't run it all the way down here out of threads or else you will um, make a mess of the stud and you won't be able to get it out so that's we're gonna charge this this impact because we just don't have enough juice to finish this this up, so we'll get back with you when we get the impact charged up. All right, so this is the cutter tool that we want to use to cut this uh, valve seal boss down. And it's a comp cams tool, and uh, this is the tool, and this is the arbor, a 3 8 arbor, which is what size the valve guide is. And um, I don't know if this little 3 8 drill is going to hold. The chuck's not real good on this, so I don't know if this will work. But if you watch, we'll show you how this cuts down if it'll work.
and you can see how it's it's cutting it down we got a ways to go and like I said this chuck is not the best in the world so we're gonna see what we can do with this thing It's getting there. We still got a little ways to go yet, but it's doing a fine job, just what it's supposed to do. Cut this, cut this seat boss down. So we're gonna keep on getting it until we get it done. Just a little more to go here. Alright, so I switched drills, so we'll see what we can do with this. Just a touch more. That's what it's all about right there. It's nice and even. So we got 15 more to cut. So hang on. All right, so let's see if my cheap Harbor Freight impact is strong enough to pull this out.
And there you go. That's how that stud puller works. And it just pulls right out of there. And like I said, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to cut these stud bosses down until I get my guide plates so I'll know how much to take off of them. But that's exactly how you do that. That's exactly how you use this tool to cut this uh, seal boss down. And uh, then it's ready to run the appropriate valve springs. I think they said to get a 500, you can use a, a spring to get a 570 lift off of it. So. That should be more than enough to, to get what we need. So there you go. That's where we're at, and that's what we're doing. All right. We're going to go ahead and get the rest of them.